Yeah, so a modular blockchain is basically any blockchain that outsources um, a component to another blockchain. And there's components, there's four components, and those components are consensus, data availability, settlement, or execution. So for example, like a roll-up is a modular blockchain because it outsources data availability to another chain like Ethereum or Celestia. And then Celestia is also a modular blockchain because it outsources computation execution to roll-ups. And it's a very um, kind of like uh, evolved way of building blockchains. Um, scalability is one of the main advantages, but to me, the biggest advantage is developer, developer flexibility. Like developers previously, um, like with traditional blockchains, if you wanted to make a, one small improvement to the chain, like for example, you had chains like Solana or um, Aptos or Sui, they introduced new execution environments that parallelized uh, the smart contracts to make it more to make it possible to process more transactions. But previously, in every cycle, to make to make one to make one improvement to one part of the stack, you would typically have to launch a whole new blockchain that had a new proof of stake network and so on and so forth. But with modular blockchains, like if you want to make if you want to make um, improvement to one small part of the stack. You don't have to launch a whole new chain anymore. You can just launch a new rollup. Like if you wanted to make a more efficient execution environment, let's say like you wanted, and this is like an actual example, like you could modify the EVM to add new opcodes um, to make certain applications possible. Previously, without rollups, we'd have to launch a whole new blockchain. But with rollups, you can just modify the EVM in just in one rollup and then launch it. And that's what certain uh, projects like Curio have. Are doing, for example, like Curio is a game engine where they modify, they can modify the EVM to actually embed the entire game into as an opcode to the EVM, and then fork prove that, for example. And previously, that would require launching a whole new chain, but with rollups, it gives developers a lot more flexibility, a lot more with a lot less friction.